Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too Yo, what's up guys, it's Like and Line, and I'm here with the second video of the day. It's going to be the last of my spawn trap videos before the full game comes out, where if you guys enjoyed these, I can make more, explain to you guys where the spawn traps are, where you can hit clips, that way you guys can hit more clips and hopefully do better on this game. The final map we have is Precinct, as you can see by the gameplay in the background. Now this map I have <laughs> so many pictures for, I'm sorry if this is a longer video, but... All my other ones have had four, five, six pictures. This one has eight. So just let me bear through this with me, but it's gonna help you guys out a lot. There's just a lot of places to go on this map. So the first place we're gonna start is in the very center. It kinda honestly looks like Raid. And I don't wanna say Raid as in like the layout is the same, there's four. But what I mean is that there's one center, it's walled off, and then there's three around it. So what I mean is they're gonna be coming down these three alleys if you're playing something like FFA, or for example, TDM, they'll spawn on one of these three sides. So the first place we're gonna look is in the way back. This is the least likely spot for them to come. If you push around the right side, which I'll show later, they will spawn in this back corner. And as you can see in this picture, I am sitting behind a head glitch. My favorite thing to do is there's a head glitch in front of it, the barrier, and which you will see in the next picture and there's the barrier behind it which i am standing at now the barrier i'm standing at you can get a head glitch over you can look right in and they'll just run through that door also if you turn to the right there will be another spot to hit a clip but i'll show that in the next one now as we move up as you can see in this picture you can see the two people in front of me they will come around your right or once you push them out of there there's a staircase up and to your left they will run down that staircase or through a little kind of, it's weird, it goes straight and then it turns left and then it goes straight again. It's really narrow and really small. But that connects an alley from the left side which they may run through. So once you snipe them out from the right, then you're gonna move forward, see if there's any in the middle like I saw here, and then look to the left and there may be some there. Now, the second place from the middle is this little side. As you can see, I am looking down. You can see an opening with a building in the background. There's a little staircase. It's an interesting one because when they spawn there, they could either be coming from the right side or the left side, and it's really hard to tell. When they're gonna come up, they're gonna rush at you. There's a little ledge to the left you can kind of see by where that kill spot is, like the image you can see of the skull. And they can stand up there. They can jump over the top. There's another building up to the right that they can stand on top of and then jump in so one hard part is rushing out of there you are open at all angles there's usually people always around you so you have to be extremely careful about running out there but if they are rushing you they will come up those stairs and you can sit behind that head glitch from the first one get an angle on it or you can push up a bit maybe stand in front of that wall to the right as long as they're not spawning behind you and get a peek down into their spawn another way to go is if you see in the second picture i am actually looking at the same thing as you can see same building on the right I'm just looking from the alley, and as you can see, there's that ledge I talked about in front of you. There's also this spot to the right. There, in that building behind it, there's a little valley. Not really a valley, but a square spawn. And they'll come out of that spawn, down the stairs, and run right into this alley I am staring at. The only thing is there is a window behind you that also connects to the alley, so watch your back. Most of the time, they will come down this alley, but there's always one or two who want to just be annoying and come around from your back and then kill you so make sure to watch your back this game you have to watch your back a lot but they will spawn in front of you you can hopefully get a good clip there one thing i like to do as shown as this third picture is if they're spawning to that side and you play it right you're actually able to run them out on the back sit in this spot where i'm sitting and they will keep spawning to your left for a couple seconds hopefully a bunch of them will rush out in front of you and they will have no clue you're sitting there i swear if one of you kills me off that i will be so mad um, because that's my spot. The final spot from this middle is this back alley, as you can see. As you're looking down at it, I'm looking down at it from the outside. You run down that long corridor that you saw in the back to the right. As you can see, I'm looking out here to the right, and people are just spawning left and right out there. It's a long alley. It's very nice. You can actually look down at it, and they'll spawn behind that truck to the left. You can then, once they start dying, kind of push forward. They will also spawn behind that building to the right. If you turn to the right here, you will get to the first spawn trap I showed you. Also to your left, there is a gas station and a truck. This connects to the side alley I showed you in the second one. 
and pretty much what you can do here is I recommend clearing them out from the gas station that was in front of you. It's to your left view in this picture. Then turning to the right, looking back at that spawn trap and people will be spawning back there. You can turn on them, shoot them. Here is another picture of it. This is a little closer up as you can see it was that car from the last picture. If they keep spawning right, you'll be able to see them coming through behind from what looks like a helicopter. You can see them coming through there and then you can snipe them from there. Also in this final picture, you can see as you look behind you, there's one of the domination flags. That is the gas station I was talking about. They will also spawn back there in the back corner. It's actually one of the starting spawns for domination. So you will be able to look, there's a little head glitch as you can see in front of you, that little concrete box. Get on that head glitch, look right in front of you. You'll be able to look into their spawn, see that spawn trap. Hopefully, if you kill them right, they may spawn to the, your left, which I showed you as the second spawn trap. You can then push up, get on top of the building, and look right into their spawn. So, I hope this helped you guys out. One thing about this game is I know you're watching the gameplay in the background, which also helps, but once you start playing the game, you'll be like, oh, hey, I know what this spot is. I saw it in Lion's video. And then you'll get a better sense of what I'm doing. As you play along with the game, you'll start to learn what I'm talking about more and more. And the more you use these spots, the faster you learn them and the better you'll do. So I hope these four videos all helped you guys out. Please show some support. This was a lot of work double uploading both days and these videos are really weird to edit. So I have to put in the picture to like fade in and then make the audio fade out. And it's it's just different from my normal videos and I really enjoy doing them because I know they help you guys out. But I would love to see support on them. That way I can do more once the game comes out. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to check out my links in the description below. Leave a like if you can and YouTube. We'll see you later. Okay, it started with a dream. That dream turned to a vision. That vision had a gleam. That gleam is now realistic. My friends are beefing now. Like, why you acting distant? I swear all you love is music and ain't got no time to kick it.